Hello everyone, this is a short video to assist you in assembling the HSA, the hemodynamic swirling apparatus, when it arrives in your office. Um, the card is separate. The vortex motor is this right here that you see, and it comes out of the box looking just like this. This is the newest version of it, and um, um, so far over a couple thousand uh, different uh, tent passes have been performed using this vortex motor with its parameters of, of, uh, of rotational speed, which by the way, you should set it at about 150, and the rotational diameter, and all the other parameters for the engineering. It's been, again, over 2,000 different 10 passes have been done with no clogging whatsoever. And of course, we're using very little heparin now, as little as 300 units over 10 passes. So it comes out of the box looking like this. This is the cradle mechanism right here, and this video is to show you how to attach the cradle to the plate, and of course, the power cord. So first thing I need to point out is that these screws are not the same. These two are long, and this is a shorter one, and the shorter one has to go into this particular hole. These three holes here are the back of the machine where the cradle sits. The front of the cradle is open, of course, because the eye set sits in it. First thing you would do with a regular Phillips screwdriver is unscrew the platform so that you can get access to the bottom. So as you notice, these two screws are longer, and the one on this one here is just a little bit shorter. Now about these sleeves here, um, if perchance one of these comes undone, a little bit of super glue to hold it in place would be the thing to do. So as you can see, the pieces for the cradle are very simple. These screws are all identical, so don't worry about which one goes where. So we first start by taking one of these screws up through the bottom. So as you can see, and I think it's simpler actually to put all three screws in at the same time. Now we'll attach the supports, the columns for the cradle, and they simply screw in. That simple, just like that. Sometimes you might find that screwing it with a screwdriver on the back, if it gets to tighten it even further. So I'm going through and tightening each one up. Nice and snug. Now that the columns are assembled, we simply put the cradle top on. Of course, this is where the bottle or the eye set sits. Once again, here are the three screws. This is the shortest one, and that's the one that goes into this hole here. So you line it up, short screw. Long screw and long screw. Now it's assembled, of course, you do have to plug in the power cord and here is the power button in the back. Once you turn on the power button, okay, like this, you'll see these numbers come up. This is the rotational speed, the RPM, and this is how many minutes it's set at. So when this runs down to zero, of course, then uh, this uh, whole apparatus shuts down and you have to reestablish some additional minutes to run. And you simply hit start and it will slowly ramp up to 150, which is the ideal speed. Now, the Vortex motor has enough torque, enough power, to maintain exactly 150 RPM as the blood fills and empties from the bottle or the eye set. It's that simple.